Holy cow, you have got to be kidding me. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf. Guess where I'm at? Guess where I'm at? That's right. I'm at Big Texas Thrift. And my keys are in the car. I kind of like that little feature where if you leave your keys in the car, it double honks. And then I don't have to be like, oh, where's my keys? Oh, where's my keys? Where do I put my keys? <laughs> so, all right, so let's head in here. Today, we're gonna do a little toy hunting. If you're new to the channel, my name is Chris Burfield. I hunt for vintage toys in thrift stores. So if you like thrift stores, if you like vintage toys, you'll probably like my channel. So hit the subscribe button. I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed today and pray, 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 pray that the vintage thrift store gods are good to me today. And we walk out of this uh, this little adventure with some epic scores. All right, as we approach Ground Zero, let's see what we can find. Check out that vehicle. That is really cool. It's kind of a cheaper plastic, kind of. You could do a real nice custom out of that, like a GI Joe or Cobra custom. Let's see what else do we got? We got Mr. Incredible. A dinosaur, little miniature football helmet. The uh, shelves are actually pretty stocked up. What's this? A wave buster. Oh, that looks cool. Remote control. Has no remote control though. What's this over here? A oh, little wind up candy dispenser. I actually have that guy. Oh, look, we got a, we got a volcano here. Learning resources. And what do we got on this side? Oh, I got a little Grogu nightlight here. Oh, five bucks for him. And we got some more Grogu. I think this is one of those ones that you paint. Hey, we got a little good luck Buddha. I rub his belly for good luck. Hmm, there's a lot of stuff on the shelves, but I'm not really seeing anything significant. Look at this little dinosaur. And we got a Rubik's Cube, little die cast car, Lady from Lady and the Tramp. Oh, here's another kingdom builder figure. Man, I've been finding a lot of these guys lately. Wow, look at this thing. That is kind of crazy. Let me see if I can pull that out. That's actually kind of neat, man. I could see like my uh, Dick Tracy figures, my 12 inch Dick Tracy figures being in there. Check this out. We got some nitrous in the back, some subwoofers. Awesome. Look at this Venom just hanging out up here. Oh, they kind of changed things up. This used to be like bags all the way down. It was like, you know, household stuff though. And then all the toys were through here, but they moved the plushies. Looks nice. All right, guys, let's get the rummaging through these bags. We got a bag of dinos. Very colorful ones. Oh, look at these. Little baseball cake topper, guys. Oh, there, there's a hole in the bag. They're actually coming out. So these little guys are actually from 1994. I think I might get this bag. There's a figure in here too. Maybe like some sort of Ben 10 figure possibly. But yeah, these are kind of neat. Oh my God, we got some vintage 80s toys. We got Zipper Cat from the Get Along Gang. That is awesome. I actually think I bought this one not too long ago. All right, let's get him. Okay, that's actually a good sign. So we got some 90s, we got some 80s. There could be other vintage toys in these bags. Getting a little jazzed up right now. We got some little party favors, some goldfish, some more dinos. Looks like we got a transformer in here. Some type of transformer. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure who this guy is. 
Looks like it could be like a Mickey D's toy or something. There's also an action figure in there too. Yeah, who the heck is that guy? He's got the, uh, the theater masks. Hmm. And then we got some sort of bootleg figure here. It says wolf on his belt. It's interesting. <laughs> What the heck is this? Are those like Hello. stickers of Jean Benet Ramsey? Who is that? All right, what do we got here on the end cap? A flash with a broken lightning bolt thing. Safari Mickey. Some Hot Wheels. Oh, that's Hot Wheels. That's Play Doh. Okay, so check this out. Dinosaurs and things. So this was originally made in 1986, I think. Yeah, 86. This is the 1992 publication of it. Hmm, it's kind of cool looking. All right, guys, so I took the tape off and I opened up the box and it appears to have all the pieces in it. In fact, these things here don't even look like they've been punched out. Like I checked all of them and they're all like that. So I think this is a good deal. I saw it selling for like 20 bucks plus another like $15 shipping on eBay. And I think it'll make a nice little display piece in the back of my definitely dinosaurs collection. Now oh, check this out. We got a little miniature Rock'em Sock'em robot action here. Hey, look at this. Hands-on Bible curriculum. That looks old too. Too bad it's like all ripped up right here. Ooh, we got some backyard rockets. Nice. Holy cow, you have got to be kidding me. Guys, these are 1986 Sports Freaks figures. He's a little grody. He's gonna need some cleaning up, but these are awesome. I, if I remember, I think he his name was Fast Furter, I think. And then, I don't know, he's, this guy here's just a catcher. But like, look, they threw the ball all the way through him. <laughs> Too bad he didn't have the ball, but uh, I think he comes with a ball originally. But oh my God, those are freaking awesome. Oh my God, I'm so jazzed up right now. Oh yeah, he's on that jazz, man. He's on that jazz. He's on that jazz, man. He's on that jazz. <laughs> these guys are awesome. And the crazy thing is these guys weren't even in the toy section. They were here like in the home decor section. So this is why you always check other sections. So. A lot of times you guys see me just going through the toy section. What you don't see is me going through and checking other shelves. Cause I don't always find, most of the time I don't find anything, but sometimes like today I find stuff like this. It's always worth it to check other parts of the store. Cause sometimes people pick stuff up and carry them over and drop them down. And then other times the store just is like, oh, this looks like a figurine, not a toy. So they'll put it like in this section. Anyway, this is an epic score. All right, let's see, what do we got in VHS land here? Got what about Bob, Terror Titanic? Hmm, not really seeing much. Anything down here? Oh, oh, hey, what's this? Oh, we got Ghostbusters, I don't have this. Oh man, this is another epic 80s find. Seriously, folks, the hits just keep coming. Oh my gosh, they got Peter and the Wolf. I loved this cartoon as a kid. Oh, we got Stephen Covey's Seven Habits of Highly Effective People on cassette. All right, 99 cents, I'm gonna grab that. Oh, look at this hiding here, The Princess Bride. Oh, this is cool, because I have it in the clamshell, and I prefer not to have clamshells. So this is awesome, I got it with the, the cardboard cover. Oh man, guys, we got a sweet, primarily 80s haul. Let's do a little show and tell. All right, first up, we got the Dinosaurs and Things adventure game. And it looks like a pretty cool game. I don't know. I mean, I guess you would learn a lot about dinosaurs maybe playing it, right? But, man, I thought it would just kind of make a neat little background backdrop for my definitely dinosaurs collection. That was one of the main reasons I got it. I mean, it was only $3, but 
but they sell for like 20 bucks plus shipping so people are paying like 25 30 dollars to get this on hand so but i'll be keeping it in my collection so i got this i also got these three vhs tapes i got the i've been looking for this for a while so i was glad to come across it here at big texas thrift so we got the ghostbusters we got the princess bride in the cardboard case and then we got peter and the wolf so i am really stoked about these finds i got this because this was actually the very first personal development like cassette thing i ever purchased in my life um i had listened to other personal development stuff like tony robbins but this was the first one that i purchased and i purchased it at walden books back in the day back into like the 90s so the seven habits of highly effective people so i think i could use this and i think nicole would agree that i could use a little stephen covey in my life i also got this 1984 Zipper Cat from the Get Along Gang. The Get Along Gang, Get Along Gang. Each one so special in his own way. Montgomery's the leader and he's such a good sport. The Get Along Gang, Get Along Gang. There's Wooma and Dottie with the spirit. The Bingo, the prankster doesn't ruin it. Logical Porsche will figure it out. I, uh, I think he originally came with like a jacket, if I remember, I think. But uh, yeah, man, he is super cool. I do have one of these already. I bought him. I think I actually bought him at a toy show last year sometime. I was thinking initially maybe I had bought him a few months back, but I think it was at a toy show last summer or something like that. But man, this is, uh, I think this is the first. No, it's actually the second Get Along Gang. No, it's the third Get Along Gang thing I have found in first store, the thrift stores. Originally, I found a, uh, a couple of glasses with the Get Along Gang on them, like drinking glasses. And then I found a ceramic, uh, I think of, I think it was Montgomery Moose or something like that, that I had Nicole kind of repaint for me because he was all chipped up. And then, and now Zipper Cat. So I am really stoked about this. This was the first of the 80s finds. Uh, well, yeah, this was the first of the 80s finds, and then I got the VHS, but I saved the best for last. Check these guys out. How cool are they? Man, they are a little grody, though, man. They are a little grody. They're going to need some tender love and care to get all cleaned up, but we got Fast Furter and the Catcher. I don't know his name. If you guys know his name, you can let me know in the comments below. But, man, these guys are so cool. I actually saw them a while back. I think I saw a YouTube video of somebody talking about this line and uh i went and looked them up on ebay and they're actually not that expensive i think you can get them for like you know 12 15 bucks or something like that plus shipping but i got them for two dollars and 98 cents each and the funny thing is when i picked them up the uh the girl when i went to carry them out the girl said oh let me wrap those for you i said well i said they're made out of rubber she's like oh they're not like statues and i was like uh, uh ceramic statues and i was like no no they're they're rubber <laughs> so anyway that's why i think they were in the home decor section i think somebody thought they were like little statuettes or statues statuettes is that even a word but yeah little statues but check these guys out oh my god i'm so excited for this all jazzed up that was a good haul i am super stoked about that so all right up next off to the goody wheel to see what kind of goodies they got all right my friends we are here the goody wheel baby what you got for me today goody wheel what you got for me today hopefully you got some vintage good good in there let's see what they got all right let's see what do we got we got some twist off 
and it looks like everything else is just a whole lot of nothing it's kind of cool oh we got a spongebob he's like kind of made out of rubber too oh, we got some star wars hot wheels got this all right we'll check on these and what's over here what's this one? Oh, nice and we got this little predator hey it's our boy buzz oh look at this uh look at this venom mask that's cool huh what do you think am i scary looking <laughs> now this thing here is super cool and it's i saw it sold for like 26 bucks back in april but uh i think i'm just gonna leave it here too i'm just kind of in the mood for vintage toys today all right, well, as cool as these things are, they're only selling for 8 to 10 bucks. I'm not going to keep them. I'd want to get them to sell them, and I'm probably not going to do that. They'll just sit around my house. So I'm going to leave them here for another Star Wars fan to find and get super jazzed up about. All right, gang, we got busted. We got busted by choice. We could have picked up some items in there for sure. Could have got the Star Wars. Could have got that cool-ass Venom mask. Just didn't want it today. So we'll leave it for somebody else. It'll make someone else happy. I'm sure. So off to old thrifty pants, thrift giant, just right over there. Let's go see what they got on their shelves. All right, gang, we're here. So let's head in, take a look around. Maybe we'll find some more vintage toys. Maybe we won't. If we don't, it's okay, because we already got some epic scores today. But man, I would like to add a little bit more to the pile if we could. So let's head in there and see what we can do. They must be having a sale today because there's a lot of people in here. Let's see what do we got down here. Hmm. Silencer. Oh, it's an RC. Oh, we got a Doc Ock with no tentacles. He never has his tentacles. What do we got over here? What's this? Nothing. Got a cabbage patch doll. That actually looks like a knockoff. I don't think that's an actual cabbage patch. Yeah, guys, this place is like a literal madhouse right now. Even if I do find something, it would have to be really epic in order for me to want to wait in line. Because the line is pretty long, too. What's these calls? Holly Hatchback. Yeah, like we've got a, a little fire department here. And look at that. Look at all that behind me. Dang. It's time for us to vamos. Get out of here. All right, let's go see if we can find another uh, another uh, thrift store to hit up. So I don't know exactly where we're going to go, but wherever we go, I will see you there. All right, gang. I decided to stop off at Dirt Cheap. They're actually going out of business all across Texas, so... Uh, I don't know what's going to be left on the shelves because they announced they're going out of business liquidation like two weeks ago. So it could be pretty barren there, but we might be able to squeeze out a nice little score. So let's see what we can find. Oh, wow. They even moved the toy section. Check this out. They got like tape up everywhere. You can only shop in this little area. The toys used to be on that back wall way back there, but now they're right here. So. Well, it looks like it's still got a good bit of stuff. Let's see if we can find something dirt cheap. Well, what's this 40% off stuff going on? I mean, I would think if you're liquidating, you would have more than that, right? Hmm. Well, let's see. Still 40% off is not bad. Let's see if we can find something cool. Oh, here we got a panther. I've got this already, though. Yeah, I've got, uh, got this one, too. Oh, here's that Princess Bride figure. We saw her last time we were here. Got some wrestling. Something in Is that goat boat? Oh, that's Thor. Okay, I was like, what is that? It's like something Marvel, I guess. This little pack. That's cool. We got an X Men Cyclops here with a builder figure. 
build a figure arm. All right, so we got some Hammond collection. My friend Nash, I still need to get him some more Jurassic stuff, which I might actually pop into a Target here today, or maybe I'll do that on another video and see if I can find him some more of that classic 93 collection. But he was like, if you see any Hammond collection stuff, get it. But like, this is just the figure. I'm not sure if he wants that. I think he maybe wants dinos or something like that. So maybe I'll find something. I like his pink and green colors. What is this? Is this some sort of Star Wars? Oh yeah. Star Wars Visions. Never heard of it. Oh, we got some Lego City. Looks like a neat play set, huh? All kinds of stuff in there. Oh, we got Vulcan. Got some more Cyclops. Got our Mr. T. I got him already. Fortnite. What's this thing? Frog of Thunder. <laughs> All right. This is Fast and Furious game. We've got Faker. Now what's this over here? Oh, we got some Back to the Future. Hmm. Biff Tannen. Might actually get this for a client of mine. Um, he loves names. Frank Margella, Dr. Frank Margella. He likes Back to the Future. All right, I'll think about that. Maybe I can find a Marty too. Costco Reeves, I guess this is some Mandalorian stuff here. Oh, check this out. That's cool. I guess it lights up. Maybe it's got a plug or something, or it talks. Here, Marvel's Icarus. We got some Power Rangers. Looks like a Jedi. A Jedi Power Ranger. Oh, look at this dude. Rintrath. What's he from? Oh, Marvel. Oops. Who's this guy here? Oh, this is a chick. Stacy Keebler. All right, well, we didn't have a whole lot in there, but I did get Biff Tannen for Dr. Frank. In fact, Biff is one of his favorite Back to the Future characters. So I'm sure he's gonna love it, especially when it shows up as a surprise from his boy, Burf. All right, guys, let's see if we can hit up one more before we call it a day. Oh, dang, y'all. I I think I picked the wrong store to go to. I forgot that that Thrift Giant that we were at earlier was having some sort of sale. Because look at this parking lot. I mean, I gotta park way out here. The store is like way over there. <laughs> A lot further than I normally park. All right, well, let's go scope out the situation and see what we can do. You know what this is? This is probably their Mother's Day sale. Because Mother's Day is tomorrow. Which reminds me, I gotta get something in front of Cole. I gotta get Caroline to get something for Nicole too. <laughs> Isn't our love good enough? No, we gotta, gotta at least get her a card and some flowers and stuff like that, right? All right, guys, now that we know it's a Mother's Day sale, now the next question is gonna be how long is this damn line if we do find something? Guess we're about to find out. Let's see, hey, look at that line. Holy cow, that line, whoops, wrong direction. It goes all the way to the back. So we will definitely, I mean, it better be, yeah, it'd have to be like Castle Grayskull or something for me to stand in that line. Batman, Vegeta, we got Groot, we got all these little Funkos over here. Star-Lord, Imposter, who's this back here? Oh, Rocket. This gnarly looking thing. Yeah. What do we got over here? A shark. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not 
not really seeing anything. Yeah, nothing. All right, that was crazy. So let's, um, there's a, a Goodwill on the way home. So let's hit up the Goodwill. I don't know what that lady's yelling about. <laughs> but let's go hit up the Goodwill, see what kind of goodies they got. Maybe we can finish strong over there, huh? We've already finished strong today, guys. With those scores we got at Texas Thrifts, we've already finished strong. Let's just see if we can finish a little stronger. All right, gang, final destination of the day. We are at the Goody Wheel. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? Hopefully, we got some vintage toys that we can finish strong with. Let's see what they got. All right, what do we got now? We got a Godzilla. That's cool. Can't pass him up. Four dollars for him. Anytime I see a Godzilla, I get him. And I don't think I have this one actually. So that's cool. All right, what else we got? Well, it wasn't vintage, but I still think it was a pretty sweet score. Check him out. I mean, I saw he's selling for like 15, 20 bucks plus shipping. I got him for $3.98. Well, hey guys, if you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you, do me a favor, smash the like button. It helps me out. It helps my channel grow. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button because I got a lot more great content coming your way and tons of videos you can start binge watching right now, starting with this next video. I know you're gonna love it.